New pushes on to make sure Rhode Island roads are safe. State and local police took the unusual step of holding a primetime news conference to let everyone know they're out there looking for drunk and impaired drivers. Iowa News reporter Jennifer Mobilia was at the news conference. She has the story new at 11. Well, Mike, every police agency here in Rhode Island is taking part in a nationwide program that's designed to crack down on drunk driving. We are hopeful that this high visibility law enforcement campaign will save lives as we close out the summer and celebrate the Labor Day weekend. Drive sober or get pulled over. It's a national program aimed at keeping drunk drivers off the road. And Friday night, area law enforcement officers issued a stern warning to motorists here in the Ocean State. For those who insist on ignoring our advice and driving impaired and put our families and friends at risk, law enforcement officers throughout the state will be there and they'll arrest drunk and impaired drivers. State Police Colonel Stephen O'Donnell says drunk driving remains the number one factor in fatal crashes here in Rhode Island. By this time last year, we lost 35 people to fatal accidents. This year, as of yesterday, it was 43. As of today, it's 45. As summer winds down and the kids head back to school, many Rhode Islanders will be celebrating with picnics and parties. And to ensure your safety, every police agency in the state will be beefing up patrols in every town and on every road. Statistics show that the most fatal crashes in Rhode Island take place on roadways where the speed limits are less than 35 miles an hour. Authorities are urging you to call star 77 if you see someone you suspect is driving drunk. Reporting live in the newsroom, Jennifer Mobilia, Eyewitness News.